Scientists have roamed the Earth for decades, searching for evidence of lost civilizations. Curiosity pushing us further and further into unexplored places as we discover remains of what used to be. While many believe that we have discovered all there is to find, our desire to know more about the past pushes us deeper and deeper into the wild, taking us to places our ancestors used to call home as we try to study their way of life. One of such mysterious places is the Amazon rainforest, a landscape so wide and wild, filled with many amazing discoveries, so many that we have not even uncovered. Join us to see 15 discoveries in the Amazon jungle rainforest. Number 15, Machu Picchu. Scientists have just found an untouched civilization on top of the mountain in the Amazon jungle known as Machu Picchu. This Peruvian city was first discovered in the year 1911, over 100 years ago, by a Yale University explorer named Hiram Bingham. Although he was just a professor of history, not a trained archaeologist, Hiram organized an expedition to search for the lost city of the Inca people in 1911. After consultations with several locals who described the location as being near a great white rock over a spring of fresh water. Armed with the determination to find what he was looking for, Hiram set out, and eventually he was able to locate the ruins of Machu Picchu. This archaeological wonderland, often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, is believed to have been built in the 1450s by the great Inca ruler Pachacutec Inca Yupanqui, who ruled between the years 1438 and 1471. The city was built as an exclusive royal estate just for him, his family, and members of his royal court. Located in Peru, this magnificent the magnificent city is estimated to have more than 150 buildings, including palaces, temples, and houses for the servants and staff who attended to the royal household. These buildings were accessed by more than 100 separate flights of stairs, many of which still stand till today. Although this ancient city was built to be a royal estate, it belonged exclusively to Pachacutec and would not be passed down to anyone who ruled after him. However, evidence showed that the city was not inhabited for so long as it became deserted after the invasion of the Inca Empire by the Spanish conquistadors. A wonder to behold in its time, this ancient city was built into the mountains, sitting between the Machu Picchu Mountain and the Huayna Mountain. The site, however, was built in an earthquake-prone area, which made scientists wonder why it is still standing till today. How has this ancient landmark survived so many earthquakes that should have brought it down to the ground? The answer is simple. The walls and buildings in this city were built with stones that fit so perfectly together without any mortar, and were delicate delicately placed like Legos in order to increase the structural integrity of the buildings. This genius idea ensured that these interlocking stones could only move slightly during an earthquake and then resettle without falling down. The Incas were pretty religious people, so many of the structures found at the site were likely used for religious purposes. Some of these interesting structures include the Temple of the Sun, also known as Torreon, a semicircular temple built on the same rock overlying the royal mausoleum. The Intimaque is is another interesting structure on the site, a special cave that was used to observe the royal feast of the sun. This special festival was celebrated during the Incan month of Quapal Remi, beginning earlier in the month and concluded on the December solstice. One significant thing about this festival is the initiation of boys who have come of age into manhood, a ritual which involves them standing inside the cave to watch the sunrise. Often considered to be the most significant structure at the Machu Picchu, the cave was built in such a way that it only allows sunlight in around the December solstice, a perfect design for the ancient ritual. Other significant structures include the Intithuatana Stone, a ritual stone which was designed to point directly at the sun during the winter solstice, the Temple of the Moon, the Temple of the Three Windows, the Temple of the Condor, among many others. This ancient archaeological site holds many mysteries. For example, how did the builders get all the materials they used in building the city without using wheels? Because although the wheel had been invented at the the time the city was built, historians believed that the Inca engineers had no need for them. So how did you do it? Did they have help from aliens or other extraterrestrial beings? How did they build such an enormous and finely detailed city without pack animals or iron tools? Did the Inca people really engage in human sacrifice? Many of these mysteries remain unsolved till today. 
Number 14. Vilcabamba, the real lost city of the Incas. Although Machu Picchu is referred to as the lost city of the Incas, many historians argue that this was not the lost city that the explorer Hiram Bingham set out to find. While exploring the Amazon rainforest, an American explorer by the name Douglas Eugene Savoy, who was an amateur archaeologist, discovered the real lost city of the Incas and Vilcabamba. Archaeologists believe that the site was the last stronghold of the Inca people, before they were finally defeated by Spanish soldiers. Upon its discovery, this ancient ruin disproved a 50-year claim by Hiram Bingham that Machu Picchu was the true lost city of the Inca people. The story goes that before discovering Machu Picchu, Hiram Bingham had first passed through Vilcabamba, known as Espiritu Pampa at the time, but he didn't pay much attention to it and instead designated Machu Picchu as the lost city of the Incas. This claim went unchallenged for 50 years, until the 1970s, when Jean Savoy took a trip to the Amazon jungle, discovered Vilcabamba, and confirmed that this indeed was the true lost city. This archaeological masterpiece is built on 12 hectares of land and consists of many structures including temples, buildings, canals, and platforms. Many of the structures were built using granite stones, although they appeared to have been built using a different method that was used to build the structures in Machu Picchu. This led to speculations that Vilcabamba was most likely built before Machu Picchu. So why was it called Called the Lost City. Well, as the Spanish conquistadors advanced through the Inca Empire, conquering every city, village, and settlement they found, they received news of the secret city where the last of the Inca people, who refused to surrender to them, took refuge. At the time, Vilcabamba was the capital of the Neo-Inca state, which was established in 1537 by Manco Inca Yupanqui, the son of the Inca emperor. This stronghold lasted until 1572, when it was conquered by Spanish soldiers, marking the end of the Inca Empire. Mysteriously, though, the location of Vilcabamba was forgotten during the 17th century, which led to many trying to find the real lost city until it was discovered and confirmed by Savoy. Number 13. Lost Cities of the Bolivian Amazon from one lost city to another, we head to Bolivia to visit a couple of lost cities located in the Bolivian part of the Amazon rainforest, which had recently been discovered. These urban settlements, which spanned more than 4,500 square kilometers in Bolivia's Llanos de Mojos region, is another proof that the Amazon rainforest used to be home to many urban settlements. It had previously been thought that the conditions of the jungle were too harsh for human survival. However, humans as a race have been known to survive and even thrive in the harshest of conditions, building amazing infrastructures even in the wilderness of the Amazon. These cities, for example, were said to have been built by the Kasarabi communities around 500 to 1400 AD and have eluded explorers for centuries due to the fact that it was covered by the thick tree canopies and dense vegetation. Researchers first heard about this from the locals over 20 years ago, but recently with rapid technological advancements, they have been able to successfully map the area. Using the impressive LIDAR technology, which in simple terms involved shooting laser pulses from a helicopter to scan the land, modern explorers have been able to map the area which spanned about 200 square kilometers. This piece of technology, called the LIDAR, gets even more impressive when you think about the fact that mapping this large expanse of land in the middle of the thick Bolivian Amazon using traditional mapping mechanisms would have taken up to 400 years. The LIDAR image captured a network of settlements and large cities which featured many elaborate ancient structures. These structures include a 16 feet high terrace which spanned over 54 acres that's like 30 football pitches and 69 feet tall conical pyramids this discovery totally shattered the belief that the amazon region in ancient times was home to only hunter gatherer tribes convincing many modern historians that the ancient landlords of the amazon jungle were brilliant builders number 12 the geoglyphs of the amazon rainforest every year the amazon rainforest grows less and less dense due to modern deforestation this unfortunate occurrence, however, has led to the discovery of hundreds of geometrical shaped ditches, which have been embedded into the grounds of the Amazon rainforest for over 4,000 years. These mysterious earthworks, as they have been popularly referred to, are known as geoglyphs, numbering up to 450 of them. Now, there are many things that make these geoglyphs a complete mystery, and number one is their size. These things are really massive. They can measure up to 36 feet in width and can be up to 13 feet deep. 
Archaeologists believe that these ancient earthworks were created by the indigenous tribes of the Amazon jungle. Between 1000 BC and 1000 AD, the discovery of these mysterious geometrical trenches aroused the curiosity of many people who wondered what the purpose of these ancient landmarks was when they were built, who built them, and why there were so many of them. One detail that confused archaeologists even more is the fact that very few remains of habitations or signs of settlement were found within these enclosures. This meant that people didn't exactly live within these geoglyphs, at least not for extended periods, which is strange because with the size of these ancient architecture and the amount of effort it would have taken to make them, it's surprising that people didn't actually settle there. Upon further studies, though, the purpose of these ancient landmarks has to come to light. Researchers have postulated that the structure was most likely used as a ritual space or spiritual site, where the ancient dwellers of the Amazon communicated with various beings of the environment, including ancestor spirits and animals, and even celestial bodies. Today, these sites are protected by the indigenous people and regarded as religious sites. Number 11. Oldest Burial Site in the Amazon Rainforest While working on an archaeological site in the forest islands of Isla del Tesoro, San Pablo, archaeologists discovered what they believe to be the oldest burial site ever discovered in the Amazon rainforest. This mysterious site, which is believed to be more than 6,000 years old, could help researchers understand how people began living in and cultivating the Amazon rainforest. Many strange things were found at the site, including five human remains, fish bones, snail shells, and some other strange objects. This discovery, along with other evidence, has changed the perspective of scientists who previously assumed that the earlier settlers of the Amazon jungle could not have been capable of forming complex societies. Archaeologists now believe that these settlers stayed long enough on this harsh landscape, so much so that they were able to alter the fertility of the soil and began to domesticate plants for their consumption. Number 10. Mysterious Spiral Temple in the Peruvian Amazon Back in 2009, a team of Ecuadorian and Peruvian archaeologists were working on an excavation project in Peru when they discovered this mysterious spiral temple. Archaeologist Quirino Oliveira directed this excavation of the hill, known as Montagnard, when he discovered that the hill which everyone including locals thought was an ordinary hill was way bigger and much, much older than anyone thought it was. As the excavation proceeded, he began to discover treasures that had been buried near the surface for over 1,000 years including ceramic pottery. As more studies were done on the site, it was determined that it dates back to 3,000 years ago, which was evidence of a complex and organized human community in the Amazon. On top of the Montagnard Hill, archaeologists found a half-built Catholic church, and after clearing the site, more strange and mysterious findings were revealed, including human remains. The spiral temple is built with rounded stones, and the pattern in which they were arranged suggested that it may have been a ceremonial temple and had the tomb of a healer or a priest underneath. This discovery raised many questions, as there is no written history of the ancient inhabitants of the Amazon rainforest due to the fact that they had no written language at the time. Number 9. The Munduruku's Lost Heaven Human interference is the greatest threat not only to nature but also to historically significant sites. This is the story of the Munduruku people and their lost heaven. The Munduruku, also known as Waijugu, indigenous people who live in the Amazon rainforest. In 2013, the Brazilian government decided to build a dam on the Teles Pires River, a plan that was made without any consultation with the indigenous people who would be negatively impacted the most by the construction. And of course, this did not sit well with them, as it meant sacrificing their most important sacred site, Heaven. The locals, who numbered up to 13,000 and were spread across up to 112 villages along the Tapajos River, protested the building of the dam vehemently. However, all their protest fell on deaf ears as the site was eventually dynamite in order to pave the way for the construction of the dam. This resulted in the loss of many of their ancient sacred artifacts, which was first fully carted away during the construction. This controversial dam, however, has many benefits, as it was built both to increase the water supply and to power an hydroelectric station. The building of the dam marked the beginning of an industrialization plan for the Amazon rainforest by the Brazilian government. This plan could ultimately wipe out more than half of all the perfectly preserved archaeological sites sites in the Amazon rainforest, and even many more that are still to be discovered. Number 8. The Chachapoya Cliff Tombs 
The Chachapoyas were fierce warriors who lived on the eastern slopes of the Andes, in what we now know as Peru. This interesting set of people were called the Chachapoyas, which meant cloud warriors by the Inca people, which may be due to their relentlessness and fierceness, as the Inca people were not able to overpower them easily. However, we do not know how they referred to themselves because very little is known about this culture. One thing we do know about them, though, is how they buried their dead way up on the mountains. The Karaja Cliff, which is northwest of the Chachapoyas territory, contains many remains of their people because they believed it was important to bury their dead very close to the gods. This mysterious place called La Petac contains many of their mummified bodies, along with colorful pictographs painted on the sides of the cliff. Till date, we still have not been able to uncover the mystery behind these cliff paintings and why these ancient people went through all the trouble to bury their dead on the mountains. The cliff has since become a tourist attraction, attracting many archaeologists who have to take mountain climbing lessons before they can be able to study this site. The cliff tombs are a common sight and are usually made of mud or clay mixed with grass over a frame of sticks or bamboo. Some of these Peruvian mummies also have prominent chains and false faces. Some of these tombs, also known as sarcophagi, look like enclosed caves with many faces carved on the structure to seal the entrance. Archaeologists are working tirelessly to uncover the secrets of these mysterious burial sites in the Amazon rainforest in order to help us understand this unique culture. Number 7. Ancient Rock Art Art is a way of telling stories, especially in ancient times when written language was not a common means of communication. From prints found in caves where early man lived, to paintings that tell stories words cannot describe, the ancestors always find a way to tell us some interesting things that happened in their time. One of such art pieces was recently found in the Amazon rainforest, blowing our minds and arousing our curiosity. This eight-mile-long canvas is believed to have been made by people who lived in the Amazon rainforest during the Ice Age, almost 12,600 years ago. This incredible painting made with ochre, a red pigment which was used by many people as paint in ancient times, includes pictures of early people living alongside mysteriously drawn beasts. Some of these beasts depicted on the rock art include small animals, such as deer, tortoise, monkeys, and snakes. Other large animals painted on the natural canvas by our ancestral artists include camels, horses, and some strange three toed mammals with trunks. There are also intricate drawings of some animals that are now extinct. The ancient artwork also revealed to us some of the daily activities the ancestors probably engaged in, including depictions of their interaction with plants, some creatures, and of course some hunting scenes were depicted. Archaeologists discovered as they excavated the area where the artwork was found that it was one of the first places where early humans made home in the Amazon rainforest. Number 6. Dinosaur Fossils just like every other place on Earth, dinosaurs once roamed the Amazon rainforest, and in 2004, scientists discovered a very important piece of evidence supporting this claim. The remains of an Amazon's Eurus, a new species of dinosaur that had not been discovered anywhere on Earth before, was found. Prior to this, only a dinosaur tooth had been found in the Amazon, and because the rest of the fossil was not found, it wasn't accepted as proof of existence. This archaeological breakthrough was made by Ismay de Souza Carvalho and Leonardo dos Santos Avia. The dinosaur fossil belonged to a herbivorous dinosaur, who was a member of the sauropod Diplodocus family. Scientists claim the Amazon's Eurus was about 30 feet in height and weighed about 10 tons, which makes it one of the smallest sauropods ever discovered. This 110 million year old fossil is the oldest dinosaur remains to have been found in Brazil, and its discovery raised the possibility that maybe many more dinosaur fossils will also be found in the rainforest, because prior to the discovery of this fossil, the only only sauropods fossils that had been found in Brazil were titanosaurs. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Scientists have recently discovered what seems to be a previously undiscovered civilization on top of a mountain in the Amazon jungle. This structure, which looked like an alien civilization, had never been discovered by anyone before and may hold the key to many mysteries of the rainforest that we still haven't found an answer to. However, scientists have been very hush-hush about discoveries that have been made in this ancient civilization civilization, and this is the only image that has been released to the public, taken by another researcher who was working on a site near this mysterious structure and just happened to stumble upon it. What do you think it is? Do you also believe it might be linked to extraterrestrial activities within the Amazon rainforest? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Ancient Trees 
The Amazon rainforest is regarded as the most biodiverse ecosystem on the planet and is home to roughly 400 billion trees. This ecological paradise contains around a third of the world's tree species, but unfortunately the number keeps thinning day by day due to extreme deforestation, illegal logging, and wildfires. Out of these many, many trees, though, one tree towers above them all. The Angelim vermelho, the tallest known tree in the Amazon rainforest, which can grow up to 290 feet tall and measure up to 32 feet in diameter. Also known as the Denisia excels a tree, this gigantic masterpiece is the size of a 30-story skyscraper. The tree was determined to be the tallest tree in the jungle in 2019 by a group of Brazilian and British researchers who were driven by curiosity. They set out on a three-dimensional mapping project where they discovered the tree through satellite images. Since then, the researchers had been working hard to access the tree physically. They eventually achieved this after three years of planning, five expeditions and a two-week trek, finally satisfying their desire to pay homage to the giants of the Amazon rainforest, the true king of the jungle. Trees in the Amazon rainforest tend to grow slower according to research, and at least half of all the trees that are taller than four inches and the forest are over three years old, with some even being up to 1,000 years old. Number four, the Amazon Stonehenge. Very few people know about the Stonehenge in the Amazon rainforest because it is not as famous as its distant cousin, the London Stonehenge. Discovered in Calcoin, Brazil by Lyle's son Camilo da Silva, who was raising trees in order to convert rainforest into pasture for a cattle ranch. The 65-year-old had no idea the amazing archaeological discovery he was about to make as he worked under the scorching October sun. After he found the site, news spread and some archaeologists came to feast their eyes on this wonder. After conducting radiocarbon testing and carrying out measurements during the winter solstice, it was determined that this megalith was arranged by an indigenous culture about 1,000 years ago. That was five centuries before Europe conquered the Americas, and remarkably, it is still standing till today. Although not as famous as the Stonehenge of England, this archaeological discovery is still a mysterious sight to behold. It consists of 120 27 blocks of granite, each standing at around 13 feet tall. White circle formed by the standing stones measuring over 100 feet in diameter. Many believe that the stones were most likely arranged as an astronomical observatory or used for burials and ceremonial functions. The discovery of the Amazon Stonehenge, along with many other man-made marvels found within the Amazon rainforest, convinced scientists more that the population that occupied the Amazon rainforest thousands of years ago were quite sufficient sophisticated and organized, at least for their time. Number three, a fully preserved dinosaur remains. In 2022, a social media post claiming that archaeologists had discovered what they were calling the best preserved dinosaur specimen ever found went viral, catching the attention of everyone, including seasoned archaeologists. The post claimed that the dinosaur remains was accidentally discovered by surveyors who were working near the upper Wilson Creek area of the Amazon rainforest. It claimed that the National History Museum in Raleigh unveiled the once-in-a-lifetime archaeological discovery, designating it as a dinosaur mummy instead of a fossil. The post was, however, found to be misleading, as it turned out to be a silly prank which was later deleted. However, it would have been really nice to come in contact with a fully preserved dinosaur remains. Number two, alien life forms. In 2011, the famous paranormal writer Michael Cohen released an image he cut from a video, which he claimed was filmed by two British tourists who were visiting the Mamaus region of the Amazon. The video, which was originally just a couple of children posing for the camera, showed a strange being in the background, a mysterious creature that looked a lot like an alien and could be seen walking unaware that it was being filmed. Many people who saw the video dismissed it as a hoax, but for many, especially followers of Cohen, it was undeniable evidence of the presence of an alien life form on Earth. In the picture, you could see the alien-like figure arching its back while walking away from a bright light which many claimed was his spacecraft. No official source has confirmed the credibility of this video, therefore it cannot be concluded whether the video was was real or fake. Each are pictured Amazon Outer S Pace. Tell number one, the lost golden city of El Dorado. Coming last on this list is El Dorado, also known as the Lost City of Z. This lost city became famous in the 16th and 17th centuries, starting as a legend which many believed was a real location in the Amazon rainforest, their lust for gold driving them into a fruitless journey which many of them never returned from. When Spanish explorers reached South America early on in the 16th century, they were told stories about a golden kingdom which supposedly located high in the Andes Mountain. The city was previously referred to as El Rey Dorado, or 
or the Golden King, as a reference to the mythical chief of the Muisca people, an ancient tribe who boasted of so much gold, the chief or king covered himself in gold dust. Filled with blind lust, many people set out to find this lost city, and unfortunately, many of them didn't return. One of the most famous stories is of Colonel Percy Fawcett, who set out along with his oldest son, Jack, and a young man named Raleigh Rimmel, in search of the legendary Golden City. However, in his final letter, Fawcett mentioned that he was heading into uncharted territories and that he would not give up until he found what he was looking for. He was never heard from again. Today, the lost city of Z has become nothing more than an urban legend. However, there are still few who believe that the golden city of El Dorado really exists and are still searching desperately for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.